So, do you own a Norenko Type 97? Or are you thinking of getting one? If so, you may want to take a minute to watch this. There is a lot of good that can be said about the T97. It is very accurate, compact, affordable, and yet it's classified as non-restricted in Canada, which makes it an awesome alternative to the AR-15, which is currently restricted. Now, with all of that said, you may be reading some mixed reviews from T97 owners and are unsure what to conclude about it and unsure whether a purchase of this rifle is a good idea. With either case, this video can save you a lot of time that will be wasted sifting through scores of mixed reviews and multiple guesses from large numbers of folks in forums giving you a variety of fixed instructions leaving you to try to guess at who is actually right in that huge pool of advice. By the end of this short video we will have addressed the bulk of everything that you will likely hear if you were to spend hours sifting through reviews and common threads. It seems that almost all complaints about the T97 are feeding problems. I myself happen to have ended up with a new T97 that was jamming regularly. When I would get a jam, it would push the bullets in too. So after having tried some basic troubleshooting ideas, adjusting the gas regulator, trying piles of different ammo, both 223 and 556, I tried a pile of different mags, None of this worked for this individual rifle. So I presented my problem in a large Facebook group. There I received a lot of feedback. Here is where we'll address the scores of feedback that I received from this group and from others that I've talked to. Here we'll give you a general breakdown and analyze it. I found that what seems to be about half of the T97 owners had nothing but good luck and smooth sailing with their T97. Some of the folks from the first half were kind enough to offer an educated guess and suggested trying different types of ammo. Well, I've already tried that, so I moved on to the other half who have expressed that they have had problems with their T97s. From that half, about half of them said that they have tried different mags until they found one type that their particular T97 liked and have been happy with their feeding ever since. Now it was good to hear that that worked for some but considering I have tried that already and yielded no success with my particular rifle I decided to move on and examine the next group of shooters. Now this next bunch of shooters I had lumped into another category they had tried out a variety of mags in their T97s too. Now the folks in this lot did not yield any success from trying different mags. Almost all of these individuals from this last category just gave up and got rid of their T97s. Now the folks in this category is the very reason I decided to make this video. I made this in the hopes to save others from making the same mistake. Remember how I said almost everyone gave up and got rid of their T97s? There was one fellow in this category who found something on this issue in a thread on the CGN website. So this gentleman explained to me that it was a feed ramp issue and after modifying his he has now fired about a thousand rounds out of his T97 with no more jams. While so many of the Type 97s that come off the line function smoothly, it seems with the factory tolerances, many end up with feeding issues from the feed ramp. This finally made sense to me. I looked at my feed ramp. Judging by the patterns of the brass markings and the mess of brass shavings that are all around my chamber, even down the magwell, and the way my bullets are getting pushed in on every jam, so this is the image that he sent to me. This is the image he went off of to modify his feed ramp. These grooves are cut approximately 16th to 8th inch. 
Apparently this is how the M4 feed ramps are. This one here is mine after the modification. Not quite as perfectly executed as the image we went off of. Whoever did that one did a real nice job. So seeing this, I think now is a good time to show you how my rifle works after the modification. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Not a single stoppage. Ten rounds, just like that. So obviously you can see, modifying the feed ramp worked. Actually by now, I've fired almost 200 rounds post-modification. Absolutely no more jams. It works beautifully. It is also noteworthy to point out that of those 200 rounds, I have used a large variety of ammo, both in 223 and 556. Even in this 10 round mag you just watched me burn off, I had three different types of ammo in that mag. This gun will cycle any ammo and any mag that will fit and click into this gun. So don't be afraid to try out the T97. They are way too much fun to miss out on. The worst case scenario is you end up with a difficult one just like mine. So what? Take it to a smith and pay maybe up to 40 bucks to do this to yours. Or if you work on your own guns, do it yourself. It's not a big deal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel.